Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to extract the body parts from any of the 3D avatar in your character creator 4 to make it become the pieces like the heads, like hands and foot. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. First, I will start from the character creator 4. I choose the CC4 Camilla as the demo. And next, I'm going to show you how to just cut the head, cut the hands, cut the foot, etc. to make it as the body parts 3D model. And finally, you can make this 3D model to become the props in your CC4 and Icron 8 as well. So first, in the character creator 4, I'm going to take off her shoes. Just double click to press delete. Then, once I press delete, just wait for a while. And next, I'm going to click here to make sure I choose a pose. I want to make her become a T pose. So it, it is under the template motion. Then it should have a folder that's called the calibration. Pose, calibration, T pose. Once the T pose already apply there, or you can just apply any of the pose. It depends on what type of the original gesture that you want the hand to perform. Let's say the, the A pose UE4 is okay, no problem. Next, just click File, Export, OBZ, character with the current pose. Then, export the material, click OK. And as demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop as OBZ. I just right click to create a new folder, name this as Camilla. Then, the file name, I already entered the Camilla's folder. The file name, I'm going to name this as Camilla. Click Save. Now, it is exporting as OBZ. Just need to wait for a while. Once you can see the OBZ already exported, next you can open your Blender. The Blender is a free software. If you doesn't have, you can just go to my video description to download the Blender and install the Blender 3.5, 3.6, etc. In, into your computer. Then if you don't have the Corrector Creator 4 yet, you can just go to my video description. I already put the Corrector Creator 4 official link at there. And you can just get it from the official site of the Realution Corrector Creator 4. Now the, the OBZ is ready. I'm going to open the Blender. As there are more, I'm going to press A and press Delete button to delete everything from Blender. I click File, Import, the OBZ, the Wavefront OBZ from my desktop. The folder name is Camilla. I import the Camilla OBZ. Double click. Now you can see it is really big after I import the OBZ. The scale it should be it should be 0 0.01. You all have to adjust it 0 0.01 and here 0 0.01 enter. Now the Camilla is already here. Next you can click here to turn on the texture. And you need to wait for a while until all of the material texture finish loaded. Then you click here. Alright, let's say if you want to extract the hand, then you can just click it, go to the edit mode, then click here. This is to show the wireframe. Then, let's say if you cut, cut like this. Here you can just right click to, you can just right click then after that, 
wait, you can select more like this. All right. Make sure you, you select all of this that's related like this. Then you can just press Y. Just one more here. Make sure all get selected. You can just press press L. So you select it first. You press Y. Then it will be extracted. Then if you press P by selection, then it will just become another another mesh. You back to the object mode now. You click this. You turn on the texture again. Actually, it already extracted. If you press G, you can move it like this. So now, because it already cuts, just click here. Press Ctrl C to copy. Then you open the blender again. Just right click here to open the blender again. It is going to open with another window. And just now you already you already cut this as an individual mesh. Then in the new window here, you just delete everything. You can just press Ctrl V. It is going to just just be this one. Click click here to turn on the texture. All right. Next, just go to the edit mode. Then next, we are going to select all of this. You turn on the wireframe mode first. Then select this part. Then turn on the texture again. Then here, right click it to fill everything. New edge face from, from here. So now you can see it already fill. Now, finally, you can just export this as SFBX. So to export SFBX, just click File, Export, FBX on the desktop, the Camila's folder. The FBX, you can just name this as Camila Hand. The Camila Hand. The path mode, choose Copy and just turn this on. Click export the FBX. Now it already exported as FBX as the Camilla's hand. If you double click, try to open it. Then you can see this is just an individual hand at there. So next we are going to import it into the icons or Corrector Creator 4. What you can do is just direct drag in, drag in the hand, the FBX. You can just drag in as a prop. Then it is at, at the same location. You can click here to make sure you change the pivot, the pivot point to the center. Then you scroll up until you can see the zero out. Now it will be here. This is exactly the body part that you extracted. Now it is here. Then you can save it as a prop. Click the prop here, click custom, then click save, name the file name Camilla's hand. Click OK. Now it really saved inside the prop here, under here, props. The Camilla's hand. Just right click and capture the thumbnail again so that you can see it clearly. Right click, find the file. And this is exactly the Camilla's hand that is at here. So you can apply this as a prop in Icron as well. Try to open the Icron 8 3D animation software. Now the Icron 8 3D animation software is loading. Just wait for a while.
And before that, you can see in your character creator for you already save it as an iProp. Just right click to find the file. The iProp is already here. You can just drag and drop to your Camilla's folder to just make sure you get the iProp first. Right click and view as your large icon. As large icon. Then later, you can share the Camilla's hand iProp with your friends. You can send it to me as well if you want. It is really simple. And you can drag and drop into your character creator for an iClone 8 3D animation software. Now it already become a prop. Just drag and drop into your iClone. Now you can see this is really the CC4 Camilla's hand that already extracted out. And for all of the few parts, it's already here. It is really easy to use now. It is really a hand prop and just check the materials. All of the materials are still there. You don't need to worry about the, the material. Just because of this FBX file, it just, it just used the original materials and texture. All of these are still here. All right, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to extract any of the body parts from your character creator for 3D avatar. And this is the full tutorial and finally you will just get a body part as a 3D model you can convert it into the props you can make it become FBX etc and use it in your icon 8 and CC4 software all right that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling 3D animation and 3D game developing you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you!